I should, I should, I should have that by done by now. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I can't hear the the speaker. So I just want to make sure everything good. Okay, okay. We have a uh, uh, technical a little difficulties, but now I can hear myself. But uh, we're gonna have a good show. Kathy's gonna be talking about uh, some good fashion, and she has a guest coming on today too as well. So we're gonna be uh, having a little fun today. But uh, let's get to it. You know, it's that, that time. We're going to be talking a little bit about the news. So this is a word on. Uh, well, so far, the word on the street. Let's talk about what everybody else is talking about. Jesse um, from Empire first. Uh, I, 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 I want to talk about it, but not in what, what the news is talking about. Yeah, he, they say he got uh, drop charges. And then he goes online saying, you see, I didn't do it. No, um, Jesse, first of all, they didn't drop the charges because they don't think you did it. First of all, because they said that they had other things to do. So that's why the cops are getting a little teed off. And now they're thinking that everything was uh, a little conspiracy. So now the FBI is taking on. Right. Well, so that's usually what happens when the, the FBI is doing whatever they Yeah. It's gonna get worse. Like if they see that investigation yep. um, in the FBI, it's gonna get a lot worse than what? Right now. Uh, fix the mic through there. Yep. Bring it all the way up. Then bring the other one here. Like I said, we got new engineers, so we're trying to. Uh, uh, let me let me give me a second here. No, I can hear it. I just heard it. Yeah, I heard it. Uh, well, I talk kind of low. Yeah. <laughs> Let me just talk a little bit higher. But uh, anyway, um, let them know. Load them, load them down, engineers. But uh, this, we're, we're live. Well, if you're watching in BronxNet, we're not live. But if you're watching on Facebook, <laughs> we're live. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, um, but the reason why FBI picked it up, because he had 19 charges. Right. So all of a sudden, not even one stuck. Right. Like, it, it sounded a little suspicious to me, but once it got dropped and then the FBI took it up, I was like, oh, no. That means he might be doing, like, some serious time, time in jail. And I'm like, ugh, was it worth it? Was it really worth it? He oh. says he didn't do it, but you got two guys that say that he did. And, right. And, you know, and all the evidence is there. He he picked them out of the line <laughs> thinking that they're not going to um put two and two together. Right. You know, they and got, then they found the checks that he wrote for the train. So, yes. Uh, whatever. I mean, the the people on Empire, they're just like showing him love, and they're like, "Oh, uh, we support you, all this and that." And now that the charges are dropped, but um, I honestly think the Empire is done. Like, I don't even think anybody's gonna watch that show anymore. You I know think what? It's, like, it, it's so funny you said that because I was like, "Was this him, or was it Empire trying to boost up Empire because it was dying?" I think that's what it is because. Um, a lot of people were saying that, oh, he probably just did it because of the pay rate, because he only gets 20000 per episode, and Taraji and, uh, what's his face, Terrence Howard, Terrence. get like $250,000 an episode. And I'm like, first of all, those are actually pretty low based on the on, film on, industry, yeah. because uh, those, those the characters and friends, they were getting like a million dollars per episode. So, oh, okay. like... That was actually yeah. pretty, pretty low. And, and but for me, an average person, $20,000 an episode, listen, I'll take that any day. If y'all want to hire me, why is it, why is it that uh, <laughs> these, these celebrities and everything, they complain about their money? Like, I, I, there was some baseball players that they got to pay for security. They'd be like, um, listen, <laughs> I only make $100,000 uh, a, a season. I'm like, but you only play like five games. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, why are you complaining? Like, bro, what like are you he gets twenty thousand uh, right. an episode. He's on every single episode. Right, on every single episode. And in the film industry, this is what happens when you have a character on a show or even in a movie. They do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Even if you're not in the episode and they mention your character, gets who's getting a check? Yeah. You are. So, so he's he's making eighty thousand to a hundred thousand a month. Right. Um, people don't even make that a year. Okay. So so be happy with that. Right. And plus, you're not those two actors, you know. Right. Terrence and, and, and Tarazi, they've been around. They've been around you a know long time. Saying. And honestly, I honestly think that they actually need a pay raise. Their, they, their track record in movies and music yeah. and everything has been, like, so at the top of their game. 
Like, I think they're valued more. Like, like Jesse, Empire, Empire would have like, not who, been Empire right, if they would have not put these them. two. Because Empire, remember, was a spinoff of um, that movie that they made together. Hustle and Flow. Hustle and Flow. Right. So it was a similar thing to Hustle and Flow. So that's what made Empire. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Jesse, you just need to figure out what you want to do. Mm -hmm. But um, Sorry. Yeah, at first, it was funny because if you guys watch past episodes, right. when he first came out and said it, on my show, I said, it's fake. Right. Because of the reason, because what he said, mm -hmm. that happened to him. And I seen some pictures, and I'm like, okay, the bruises are in a different way. You don't get bruises that way when they're beating you down. And, you know, there was certain things. So I said, it's fake. And it turned out to be it was fake. Right. But I thought he was faking it to boost up the LGBT. Right. I didn't know he was trying to boost up his ego. Yeah. So. When I heard the whole situation where they were like, oh, there's, they threw bleach. I'm like, it's Chicago and it's negative 19 degrees. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Where is the bleach going? The bleach would have been a block across your <laughs> face. Okay? You would have been dead. Yeah. There would have been no way that that bleach would have made it. And his eyes were perfectly, you know, would, would, no. you know. No. I, there's I certain so. things. But yeah. uh, celebrities nowadays are getting caught with a lot of book. You know? Right. Well, you know what? Social media, the internet, people are catching them because, you know, the, the whole digital footprint thing. So it's like now it's easier to catch celebrities in their act. Back in the day, it was just like, you know, people do some shady McGrady stuff and it, it was harder to catch them. Now it's just like you do everything wow on wow social challenge. media. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. The Bow Wow Challenge. Like they can catch you. Like it's really, it's really bad. Like yeah, it, it's it's even worse. Uh, another celebrity getting caught was the school scandal. Um, right. People paying Aunt Becky. Yeah, Aunt <laughs> Becky paying for her kids mm -hmm. to be in in college. Uh, I had a discussion with a couple people, and I, I don't see her doing any wrong. Right. She she paid for uh, her kids to go into this school. Right. How many of rich people, celebrities and everything, put a library, put a, a park, put something in that school, and now their kids are in that school? Right. It's called a hookup, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. I'm just saying. The only thing that I feel, like, really against it is the fact that, you know, they go to these schools, right? And they're not doing the grades that they need to, one, to be in the school. Right. They're not doing the grades that they need to sustain in the school. And then it's like the schools have to pass them because it's like, I can't flunk you out. You just built this library. Yeah. Now I'm giving you this degree. Well, yeah, that, that part, field, that part is understandable. You have no idea what to do. I, I, don't, like, I don't care if they pass grades and they pass college and they mm -hmm. get a degree as long as they're not a doctor or something like that. You know exactly, what I'm that's what I'm saying. I don't want him working on my brain and, yeah, and yeah. stupid old Mundo here no, 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 get no. into school by himself. Yeah, but putting them into school is called a hookup. Even Dr. Dre... Put down, uh, put a picture. My daughter got into uh, the college right. with no money down. Well, he had right. to go take that down because he forgot that he just spent ten million dollars on a on a room in that school. Right. So exactly. he wind up taking the uh, the the, post, the back. post back down, which is true. Right. You probably didn't pay directly, right. but you put a school there. You don't think they didn't want your daughter in that school? Exactly. It's called a hookup. Um, I would do the same thing for my kids now. If my kids are failing, kick them out. But my whole thing is these schools know about this stuff, and it's, like, making me angry because it's, like, on both sides of the whole situation. Yeah. And it's, like, they also do it where they give celebrities degrees for no reason just to boost up the school, just to be, uh, like, The oh. honoraries, <laughs> yeah, the honorary uh, bachelor degrees and stuff like that. And I don't know which one is more stupid, the person that got the honorary bachelor degree right. or the school because the honorary bachelor, they be smiling. It's an honorary. You didn't even get it right. You know, I'm saying it's just, but it's been going on for ages, uh, yeah. ages. Um, but they're getting caught now. But the thing is, a lot of people are uh, attacking Aunt, Aunt Becky. We mm -hmm. say Aunt Becky because, we, you know, we, we're, we're back in the days. We know her as Aunt Becky. That's right. But um, they said they caught 10 people. Why are they not mentioning the other tens? And it's only Aunt Becky, Aunt Becky, Aunt Becky. Because her name is more reputable. Right. Not even a desperate housewife chick. I don't even know her yeah, name. Yeah, because she, and She's she gave even... more money right. than Aunt Becky. Aunt Becky was like the lowest one. Like, she was like, right. damn, according damn. to my money, yeah, exactly. I only got like six months in there. You know? yeah, exactly. <laughs> they but. got like four years worth of money. Um, but it's, like I said, 
I would do anything to have my kid go in that school. Now, for you guys that are living in the Bronx area, the Brooklyn area, they've been posting up, oh, that's not fair because they're taking slots away from my kid. What? Your kid can't even get to a private school right now. Like, you don't even got the money for that. What would make you... No, it's the truth. <laughs> what would make you think you got money to go to USC and all these other big-ass colleges? You don't got the money to go to, to the corner grocery stores. You know what I'm saying? Come on. I'm, hey, <laughs> I'm just keeping it real. I'm just keeping it real. You have to it's stop. It's true, though. It's yeah. true, though. Like, honestly, it is true. Though. They're not taking no seats from your kids. You know, now, if, if they would have been paying somebody to go into community college, then we'll talk. You know what I'm saying? Then we'll be like, hey. It's okay. You know. It's okay. But scholars, scholarships and stuff like that, they don't take seats from that because they already have a certain amount of kids mm -hmm. for a scholarship. Right. So there was people like, oh, but if my kid would get a scholarship, that doesn't matter. They already right. have they already certain have a amount. That they like, need to, yeah. Because they need to write that money off. Mm -hmm. So they need those people. So those kids would not be in that school under a scholarship. So, mm -hmm. um, but uh, she went in mm -hmm. as a rowboat, like she was doing rowboating and stuff like oh, that. Oh yeah, well, and she I don't, never that's went to class. Yeah, I don't know. And yeah, like she took pictures in the canoe and stuff yeah. like that, and, uh, and and the uniform on. So they paid the the coach also, so they could take the pictures, and they actually weren't a part there, of the There team wasn't there. a part of this thing, and that, well, like you said about the grades and stuff, one kid came out and said they know her and her grades wasn't up. So that's how they were like, wait a minute, how did you get inside that school right. when we studied even more and we didn't even get there? Right. But those are rich people problems, you know what I'm saying? They yeah. took a spot from a rich person. Right. Well, go to another rich school. That's all you have to do. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> basically, the name of a school now is not holding water anyway. There's a lot of companies that be like, where you came from? And okay, they don't care and anymore. they don't care no more. Right. Let me see what you can do for my company. That's right. what they're really worrying about. Because there's so many people that come from these schools, and I'm like, really? And you're that dumb. Like right. you, you're not even street smart or nothing like that. So. No, because the other thing is, uh, some of these schools now start to uh, host classes that don't really help your skills going in into the workforce. Yeah. Um, so it's it's kind of hard when. You know, you go to school, you go to a top school, but your major is uh, lesbian dance theory. Mm -hmm. Like, you can't go and get a yeah. field. Yeah, there's a lot of companies opening right now for that, really. <laughs> um, yeah. You, you got to think about that wisely when you're picking, like, what uh, subject that you're going to take up. Yeah. Um, That's why they call it minors and majors. Yeah, like, you know, like. Pick the minor no. that, but don't pick it as a major. But, like, I'm glad you said that because the schools now, I always said, what are you teaching our kids that would prepare them for life itself? Like, let's bring financial classes mm -hmm. in there. Like, learn how to balance your checkbooks or something right. like that, you know? You know, it was so crazy. When I was in high school, my uh, sociology teacher, he actually uh, didn't teach us anything else but balancing checkbooks, right. uh, showing us how to vote, showing us how to use the stock market. Like, he actually, he was like, mm -hmm. ah, I'm probably going to get fired for this, but I don't even really care. Yeah. So he actually, you know, did all of that stuff. And I was so surprised because I was just like, what the hell? I was like, why, why am I learning about this now? And then I go to college and, you know, I take up finance and business. And I'm just like, oh, okay, I got the foundation from it. Mm -hmm. But it's like, where, where are the other kids getting these opportunities? Like, yeah. to do all of that stuff. Like, it's crazy it's to gone, me. It's gone. But I remember when I was in school, uh, fourth grade, we we were in the special classes, so we don't really learn what they learned. Right. They took us outside, and we started learning um, math and stuff from the field. Right. Like, how much is that? Two for four dollars. No, no. So then how much is one? And my, my teacher was like, okay, is that two dollars? This one is three dollars, but look how many grains. And we had to balance the grains out. We had to do this. Mm. We had to, you know, because we were nerds, I guess. Um, so we had to do all these balancing stuff out. And then when I went to high school, they didn't teach you that. And I'm like, like and now it's back. worse. Now yeah. it's worse. Like, okay, you want to teach the kids all this stuff by the time they're even in second grade. But then after that, it's like, what happened? Like, right. they don't know nothing about life. And, you know, and I guess that's where the stress and the frustration is going to come with these kids. And then now comes the depression because they don't know, you know, they assume, of course, they got to come out of college. They got a job. Right. No one tells them the truth. You know, like, hey. I know people with GDs that got better jobs than you guys, and you came out of college. You know what I'm saying? So, it's tough. It, it's tough. I, I guess it's the place you you.
go and how you represent yourself as well. So. Right. Well, like, my son right now, he just got into uh, Pace University High School. So mm. next year, that's where he's going to be going. Um, and in their junior year, they did, start did they taking... Pay, did they pay too? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> they, um, they're going to be uh, teaching him college courses. So once he graduates, wow. he'll already have at least mm -hmm. 24 credits going into going into college already mm. but like my whole thing is like if i would have stuck to that structure where they said oh you can only send your son to the zone school he wouldn't have had the opportunity yeah i don't like that i don't like that so because what happened was i was trying to register my son into junior high school and like the where i live at you know is south bronx Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and the schools over here, ooh, they're not really the best. Yeah. So what me and my husband did was we ran downtown and we were like, hey, register him. <laughs> and they were like, okay, we'll start registering him. So they gave, we, they took uh, his information and stuff like yeah. that. We gave him his immunization cards. And then they were like, well, where's, what's your address? And we we're like, oh, uh -oh. here you go. <laughs> <laughs> So we gave it to them, and they're like, oh, you guys are from the Bronx. Uh -oh. And they're like, oh, you know, you're supposed to go to the zone school. And I was like, well, by New York State law, if you already started the application to be on the computer, you have to continue it. Mm -hmm. So they got you, they got you, they got you. <laughs> so he was able to go to a, a, a better school in the city, but, you know. Shh. Hey, L listen, <laughs> just get your kids uh, mm -hmm. and watch what your kids are doing because right. – Showing them about life is way better than showing them. Because they say book smart is good. Right. But you got to be street smart and, and educated as well. And I'm not talking about street smart knowing the, the illegal pharmaceutical corner <laughs> things. I'm talking about, you know, <laughs> I'm not talking about that street smart. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying just uh, things that you would not read in the book um, to learn how a person will react um, and stuff like that. What was that? Oh, hello, Tara. That's my, my, my sister-in-law. I hope she's doing good. She's finally watching. So uh, we, we used to go out uh, and have these battles um, back and forth, mm -hmm. me, her, and her husband, uh, uh, many, many times. So this is like one of those battles, Taris. <laughs> She'd be like, no. I'd be like, yes. You know, so I, I love having the conversations like that. But um, in this case, we're both in agreement. Teach your kids. Um, that's all to it. Uh, don't matter where you came from. Because I went to uh, Wharton High School right after they, um, they yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Right after they merged to um, co-op because it, Wharton High School used to be an all-girls school. So you could imagine when I got there, there was a lot of dykes and stuff like that in that school. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know. But I only went there because my friends went there, which was a big mistake. Um, uh, because I was like, okay, my friends couldn't get into the schools I went into. I got accepted to good schools. So anyway, but I went there and I finished high school in three years. Wow. Because I was one of those smart ones that said, you know what? That's can funny. I take summer classes and can I do these extra stuff and blah, blah, blah. Because, but. You're that, good. Because when I went into high school, I went to George Washington High School in the Heights. Yeah. And I did pretty badly that first year. And then I transferred. Well, the first year is always. It was horrible. You know what it is? Especially for me. I'm like. Uh, shout out to everybody that, that's been in um, junior high school 22, 167. I was, like, famous there. Then when I get to the high school, people pushing me around. Like, I didn't, I didn't know nobody knew me. I was like, excuse me, what? Where's this class? Well, go find it. I'm like, damn, man. I felt yeah, all I'm sad. Good. Like, And then I, in the lunchtime, you see mm -hmm. everybody in the corner, and I'm in the corner like this, until one person recognized me and, and knew that my brothers. And that's when I was like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I didn't have that chance. I got transferred over to Christopher Columbus uh, High School. And the first day I got there, somebody got slashed in their face. Oh, my God. The second day, I um, I got into a fight with a guy. So he, like, because he, like, got my chain and everything. And he ended up getting suspended. Goodness but great. it was just, like, crazy, crazy school. And, yeah. I mean, I graduated on time because uh, I was going to day school, night school. Yeah. PM school. I was just like, in which, which is school. good, which is good. But I don't but recommend. I, I don't recommend ending school so early because right. the one thing we don't get mm -hmm. is the um, anniversaries. Like I don't get those ten year anniversaries. So. Oh, yeah. That's the the only main thing. Like everybody goes there. They're like, who are you? You didn't graduate with us. Yeah, I know. Cause I didn't. We didn't even graduate. It was no none of that stuff. I didn't get the little thing. It was just a diploma by. Oh. 
you know, well, because you ended. Well, I graduated afterwards. So uh, while everyone else graduated in June, I graduated like in um, August, September. Yeah. We had like a small ceremony, um, but it wasn't really big. Like, you know, it was like in a library. <laughs> so, <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be taking a short break. And when we come right back, Kat is going to be talking about a lot of fashion stuff with her guests. And then we're going to come back and talk a little bit about what we've been posting up about, uh, what was it, um, personal things giving to another person's lover. Is it acceptable or not? Ooh. We'll be right back. <laughs> That's going to be a good one. But we'll be right back. Here are the 2019 LDM Independent Music Award Country Music nominees. Sister Sister with Another Fast Love. Glenda, Peters, let me be home. My dreams of has got me down. The search is over, an empty crown. But there is one. Re, Pice or No, with discount tobacco and beer. Discount tobacco and beer. Discount tobacco and beer. Catherine Shipley with God Gave Me All I Need. So if you pass me on the street, don't shed a tear for me. God gave me all I need. And these were the 2019 LDM Independent Music Award Country Music nominees. Here are the 2019 LDM Independent Music nominees in the R&B category. Voice with All I Ask. All I ask is, will you marry me? Down on one knee, will you? Mark Hightower with Stuck on You. Natalie Jean, with All I Want. Timothy Bonnet, with Lie to Me. How you gonna lie like that? Don't lie like that to me. To me. I'd rather you lie to me. I'd rather you lie. These were the 2019 LDM Independent Music nominees in the R&B category. Hi everyone, uh, welcome to Fashion Chat with Kat. I have a special guest today. He's a photographer, a videographer, a host of a Music Monday video. He's like so many things in the industry right now. It's a bunch of things. A bunch of things, exactly. Everyone welcome Eric. The big bitch. Uh, okay, so today I'm the big bitch. Yes, the big bitch. <laughs> I'm the big bitch. Usually I'm big bitch, but you know, I'm the big bitch. Yeah. What's up? So, what's up with you? What's How up? are you? How did you get into uh, you know doing music videos? Like, what's your story? Like, how did you get into it? I mean, like long story short, I used to I came into the game as a sound engineer. I ran a, I ran a recording studio for 16 years. And then um, during that venture of being a steel sound engineer, um, I started my own radio show. Uh, and then during that venture, I um, I bought uh, some camera equipment because I used to hire camera operators to come and shoot some segments at the show. But it got to a point where people didn't show up. I didn't like the footage. Um, um, I never got the footage. So it just got to a point that, um, you know, I'm like, let me just buy my own stuff. Mm -hmm. And let me teach myself. And then you realize how expensive it was. No, yo, what? <laughs> camera equipment is bonkers, crazy expensive. But the thing about it is, I start to create a passion for it, mm -hmm. and it was just dope. And then sooner or later, three, four years later, I'm here talking to you about it, talking about my passion. I've shot for so, I shot so many showcases, so many, so many type of events, right. so many interviews. Yeah, I mean, like didn't you just now. do an interview with um, Mano? No, 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 no,
uh, uh, feel good energy. I was just in the mix. Oh, okay. Just to keep it clear, you know what I'm saying? But, but you know. That's, that's, soon, right? that, that's in the future, though. <laughs> you know, man, what up? You know what I mean? He looked at the dice. He looked at the Wu-Tang one. Yeah. He said the Wu-Tang one was his favorite one because Wu-Tang is on the way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know. That's cool. That's cool. But, yeah, so, you know, that, that's how I got into the game. You right. know what I'm saying? So, I interviewed people like DJ Self. Oh, my so God. What was that? Um, when you interviewed DJ Self. Um, that yeah, was kind of crazy, crazy because when, when I, started I started the video, video stuff, stuff, I, I kind of, I, 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 I took a turn in the sense of, I, um, I stopped doing the, my, my radio show. Mm-hmm. And literally two weeks later, I got a call from somebody. And um, they said, hey, Veg, you want to come up and interview um, um, uh, a DJ Self? I'm like, yeah, no doubt. Set it up. I'm thinking like, I like what no, 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 but, but I'm thinking like, oh, it's not going to happen, like right. whatever, right? So then like two days later, like, yo, Veg. Come at this time, at this date, and interview DJ Self at Power Five. Oh, that's what And this has happened like two weeks after I stopped doing the radio show and I went forward like on faith with the whole video thing, and that was like a sign. Oh, that's and then I did an interview with DJ Self, mm-hmm. and that just blew up like, like, like in a sense of like my confidence, like, like even telling like, yo, that you, you got to get, it, you should pursue this. And come, and this is from him, mm-hmm. like. I don't know, five, hip-hop, and, you know what I mean? So, it was, and then from there on, you know, I just interviewed so many people to yourself, the Lord, the Lord. And I heard you interviewed um, uh, Mrs. New Jersey? Yeah, Miss New Jersey 2018. You know I'm mad at you um, right now. Uh, <laughs> why? Because you know I'm in the pageantry, too. You could have interviewed Oh, yeah, so you're what? You're Mrs. Empire State? Mrs. Empire State. Oh, okay, okay. See, I'll be watching. I'll be knowing. I'll be knowing. But I got you, though. Know, I got you. We're going to set that up. No, I'm saying that on camera so that's how the witnesses, so I'm, I'm real with y'all you. Y'all listening, so um, if, if it don't happen, oh, y'all man. know y'all go to his page. Nah, 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 like, nah. Hey, nah, what nah. happened? I don't need no hate mail. It's all love. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> see, I, I, see, I wear the armor down for a reason. You know what I'm saying? No, but yeah, so I did her. Um, so many type of pageant winners, man. Right. Miss Universal. Um, just all types. Like, like, I look at, like, I want to be that correspondent that interviews almost anybody. Like, there can't be anybody that I can't. Right. So you do normally like the red carpet. Red like carpet. That. I do. Have you done any like any uh, recent fashion shows? Um, I haven't. I haven't. But um, no, I'm lying. I, I did. I did. Um, well, not a fashion show. It was more like a. Um, have you heard of? I'm sure you know Billy Blunt. Yeah. Billy Blunt. He had a. Um, he had a. He had a magazine. Yeah, he had a magazine jump off, and right. I was there doing a couple of interviews. So. Well, he has a lot of fashion uh, stuff going on. Shout yeah. out to Billy Blunt. Billy Blunt. He's like, he's really he's doing your thing. Like he's, he's the king. He's of the so world. amazing. And independent very too. Guy. Yeah, very independent. Yeah, um, what up, homie? Yeah, he's doing big things. Yeah. You know, if you want to put me in the magazine, uh, I'm ready. In the by the way, <laughs> by the way, go ahead, girl. Yeah, but um, so uh, tell me, what is your favorite thing that you like about being in the industry? I want to say being the correspondent because it's in doing something. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I just love interacting. Like how we're how we're doing this interview. Like I love this aspect because. Right. Finding out about that person and, and just clicking with them and understanding their story because everybody has a story. Right. Everybody has a story how they got to here. But 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 the thing about it is when you interview somebody or, or no not not even that is 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 when people see somebody and they're like the celebrity status like a Cardi B or a Master B like people know them for being here. Right. But they don't know how they got up. They got the come up. Right. That's my thing. I love the come up. Right. How they got there because everybody has a story that. That's gonna inspire the next person. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like the struggle, because with, with you know with uh, if there you know there's no struggle, uh, there's no shooting, there's no progression without struggle. Right. You know what I mean? So that, that's that's the best thing. I mean, other than that, shooting for us, um, I shoot all the videos that I shoot as far as showcases, the music videos that I do. Um, you know, I love the art. Right. You did a, a music video recently from an artist <laughs> yes. in Queens, correct? Well, 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 well she's actually in Middletown. Right. You talking about the recent video that I sent you? Right. Yeah, her name's Lady Miz. She's actually in Middletown, New York. Shout out to Lady Miz. 845 in the building, Rockland County, you know what time it is, baby. You know what I'm saying? All my 845 years, man. You know what time it is, man. But yeah, so Lady Miz, she man, she man, cool. she's a female artist. She's out from out there. She's doing her thing. She's about to actually drop some dope. So be on the lookout for that. Make sure you follow her. That's L A D I Miz on all social media. Look at that club. Nah, man, I'm so lucky. <laughs> no, I wear all my diamonds for real. Like, no, I no. represent this whole world. So you know. So how did you get the name Veg? I'm a vegetarian. Okay. I've been in. Cool. I've been in vegetarian since I was born. Oh, that's what's up. High five on that. Yeah, I've been in vegetarian since sort of like 35. I tried uh, being a vegan for about a year and a half. Man. 
Then I got pregnant and was like, Man. I need a piece of wah, chicken. Wah, wah. Oh. <laughs> I need a piece of chicken. Damn. I need my swine. No swine on my mind. No. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. <laughs> so I had to do it. Um, thinking about going back, but you know, right now. You know what's so crazy? In the media, there's actually been a lot of uh, vloggers who, who are claiming to be vegan and they've been caught in other countries. Yeah, eating all this eating swine. Meat. Nah, not me, man. Like, I, I'll stay strict to the, to, to the vegetarian code, man. Like, I'm, a veg- I'm not a vegan, I'm a vegetarian. There's a difference. Like, okay. You know, I mean, vegans eat absolutely nothing. That, 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 that comes from an animal, like eggs or anything, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But, you know, vegetarians are allowed to, you know, kind of bend things a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm a vegetarian. I can't have a vegan, but shout out to all my vegans as well. Shout out to everybody eating their vegetables. Right? That, that that vegan life is a struggle in New York. It, it is. is. No, struggle. it is. And you know what it is? It's, it's so just, hard to find restaurants or anything just, just to, to go out and right. eat. And when, when you're vegan, it's just most of the stuff you have to cook from home. Right. And it's just a problem of, of it's, it's expensive, too. Like, you're eating right. organic. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, it's hard. But you, know, you got to kind of figure it out. And once you figure it out, once you figure out a system, right. then everything will just flow and... and, and Everything will move whack, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's good, that's good. So what's your next up in coming projects? Um, I got a, I got a couple of things coming up. Um, one of the things I, that, that definitely want to shout out is um, I also do artist management. Um, so I want to give a big shout out to my man Stella Man. Stella Man is a... Uh, uh, no, 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 on my plate, excuse me, like, I don't need no, no more of this stuff. And I'm not saying I'm the kind of nobody, I want to make sure if I do manage you, I'm going to get the time properly. So, you know, you get your groove right, you know what I'm saying? saying? But back to what I'm saying, saying still a man, that's, that's my artist, the MC from, originally from the Bronx, living up in Rockland County, where I'm at. He's got some stuff coming, um, other stuff, man. I'm just out there shooting, man, just like, doing mad projects as far as, like, Interviews and just a whole bunch of things, man. So just stay tuned. You know, connect with me. Can I can I plug myself over? Yeah, I was I was gonna get to that later, but it's alright. You can go plug yourself. I'm not mad at that. You know what I mean, so find me Big Vez B I G V Double G. That's two G's B I G V Double G on Instagram. Um, and just just Google me, man. You know what I'm saying? Check me out. I mean, I'm, I'm doing it, man. You know what I'm saying? It's for the culture. Yeah, culture hip hop. Yeah, so. I see, I see. I mean, we all in the Bronx, so it's only right. Doing it for people right now. I mean, it's only right. You know what I'm saying? It's all, it's all, show love, show love. That's all you got to do. Work together, stick together. I mean, that's how it should be. But you know I'm going to get a little awkward right now. Oh, man. You know I got to go there. You know I have to oh, ask. Man. A little time has passed, but you know what? I still got to ask this oh, question. Here we go. So, with the whole situation, what happened with Gucci? Oh, man. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. They yeah. had the turtlenecks where, you know, it had, like, the black face or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's not cool. Um, Prada had, like, these little monkey keychains. Yeah, yeah. Kids. Yeah, H&M and all of them. And, yo, yo, all these brands, yo, all your brands is messing up, man. Y'all, y'all, y'all need to cut it out, man. Like, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. But, so, what, what is your whole... Like opinion, how you felt about the whole situation well, when it came out? I mean, it's obvious. I mean, you know, it's wrong because it's like, you know, you, if you say you're for the culture, like, wow, you're disrespecting the culture, right. especially us, our people. You know what I'm saying? Like, you want to, you know what I mean? Like, and then Gucci. I mean, don't get twisted. I don't, for the record, I don't wear Gucci. I probably never will. Like, like how can I wear Gucci with a bunch of with ten million medallions on my neck? You know what I'm saying? Like, that, that don't make no sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I don't wear Gucci. I don't wear Fendi or Versace or whatever. Like, but right. but my opinion is, I think it's wrong. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I think disrespects to you know where we came from. Obviously, you know, like I said, with the you know, black face and all that stuff. Like, right. that's wrong. Like, like that's just disrespectful. And and obviously, my I think honestly they probably did that obviously for controversy purposes, and obviously they got people to talk because sometimes, sometimes bad publicity is could be good could be. Good publicity, mm-hmm. but you know I just think it's fine. So my, uh, what I'm gonna do is, you know, oh, yeah. gotta play the bad guy. Yeah, 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 no, yeah. I gotta do it. The bad guy. I gotta be bad guy. The bad guy. The bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we actually with Gucci, uh, that uh, fashion show actually came out two years before that sweater was released. Oh, that sweater was already out for probably about three years before. Oh what? Was oh, so let me get the picture. I mean, I'm getting there. 
have oh, been there. So the guy who actually designed for Gucci, um, his whole fashion show was out of control. Oh, um, he had, first of all, the fashion show was in uh, a surgeon ER. Oh. In the middle of the runway uh-huh. was a surgical table. Uh-huh. There was like, like eerie music playing in the background. background. He had some models where they had severed heads where they were walking with. Uh, there were baby dragons. It was just like anything that you could think of out of control was happening through that, that revelation. I think it wasn't a Madonna. Uh, it, it, no, it was worse than that. It looked like a horror movie right. times 10. And it was just creepy all the way around. Like me personally, I looked at that and I was like, he needs help. We need to Espiritu <laughs> Santo him with right. the holy water right, 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 and right. call it a day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, me personally, when I seen that, I didn't look at it as blackface. I just looked at it and was like, yo, he is crazy. What is wrong with him? Yeah. Like, he didn't have a good childhood. <laughs> I was like, what is this? I hope people don't buy it. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's crazy. This is also the same fashion show that um, had the, um, the Sega Gucci sneakers. Those are the same ones. Sega. The ones that look like uh, Thanos shoes oh, uh, that everybody was like going crazy over, and then Balenciaga made their like own version Yo, of it. I'm such a simple cat, man. I don't wait no man, none of this foolishness, man. Like, yeah. So I'm it's like it. I looked at that and I was just like, he's just crazy. I ain't even paying no mind to it. So yeah. then three years later, oh, everybody's like, oh. Look at this black. Right, right, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like what? Come yeah. on, yeah, yeah, yeah. First of all, y'all. Oh, she said, "Why you? Why y'all not? Why are y'all not keeping the same energy?" That's what you say. Exactly. <laughs> say. <laughs> and then when Prada came out with their their, uh, like their little monkeys on the purse, it oh. actually came out in China. Oh, China, what's up? The thing is, the reason why it came out in China is because in Chinese, like Asian culture, uh-huh. they love monkeys. Okay. It's like their thing. Oh, it's like, okay. like you know how like little kids like love okay. baby and stuff like that. Yes, yes. To them in their culture, the, the Asians they love monkeys. Yeah. So in their mind, they're like, oh, we're just gonna design something yeah, yeah, yeah. for China and how they like their stuff, and the then culture. we're gonna get it. But you know what happens? We got the internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> and it well, travels. Yeah. And that was the same thing with the whole uh, so monkey in the jungle oh, with the H and M. That was actually um, in the UK. With, oh, the man, only thing that's, that I, up, man. I, like, yo, yeah, yeah what's going on over there, there, man? They're like all over the place with their lives. <laughs> the only thing that I did not really, really like about that whole situation was yeah, yeah, that. Uh, that was released actually on the day, uh, you know, Martin Luther King. Oh, man. So I was just like, hold man. on. I was like, I get it. Y'all wasn't trying to be crazy because y'all don't y'all, pay attention y'all to that. Know, but but like, yo, y'all know about MLK. Come on, we're playing like, ourselves right now, so I'm not with it. But I get it. Put this monkey in the jungle. Yeah. I get it. I get it. I get it. Listen, like I said, I don't want none of that stuff. I probably never will. I right. If I get rich. Excuse me, when I get rich, <laughs> I'm saying she's getting into the future, but like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to. I'll probably buy like 20 million more medallions and a couple more fedoras. You know, you got to be you. Like, that's yeah, the yeah, whole yeah. thing. Like, I know a lot of people were upset about, yeah. you know, the whole situation that was happening. But you also got to remember yeah. that they're not broadcasting yeah. for us to buy it. Because if they were, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, wouldn't be, they wouldn't be doing that. That's true. That's true. They're broadcasting for a, a demographic. Yeah. Who enjoys that? Who and wants to wear it. It, No matter what we say, yeah. whenever, well, no matter what, you know, whoever says what, you know, I mean, the president can say something, but they ain't gonna. Yeah. So when Mayweather went into the store oh, and bought yeah. all that Gucci stuff, Mayweather. how did you feel? I mean, you know what it is too. Like, this is a this is a this is a public figure. Mm-hmm. So a lot of people look up to him as as a hero, as a champion. Right. See him being undefeated and all this. So it's like people like. You know, you know, it's it, it, just crazy because like you're in a position to do things to inspire, to um, you know, to leap instead of doing the unthinkable, and he did the unthinkable, and you know, um, it's possible. Yeah, like I personally thought that you know they oh <laughs> wow. well sorry guys oh we got oh we got, we got, we got time is, uh, okay okay. Got it. Here are the 2019 LDM Independent Music nominees in the pop category. Shea Dream with Money Time. This is Money Time. Get your money, get your money, girl. Hey, 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 big money. 
Jesse, Vega, with He'll, He'll Never Be Me. Never Be Me. He'll Never Be Me. He'll Never Be Me. He'll Never Be Me. Virgo G, with Island Vibe. On the beach, it's you and me. You and me. Island hopping, sipping drinks on a boat. The sun is blazing, uh -huh. mother playing uh -huh. We just here for the island breeze uh -huh. On the island, on the beach, it's you and me John KT with Better Man These were the 2019 LDM Independent Music nominees in the pop category. the 2019 LDM Independent Music nominees in the Latin category, Sabis, with Dinero. Dame dinero, dinero. Quiero dinero, dinero. Vivo solo por dinero. Me lo tiro solo por dinero. Michael Beltran, with Make Him Dance. Miguel y John Q. Con Déjate Llevar. Estamos desde que te conocí. Déjate llevar, baby. Vámonos en un viaje. Que quiero vacilar contigo más que amigo. Dale, tráigate. Vanessa Verduga, con Te lo advertí. Hoy quiero verte y hablarte a ti. Porque no puedo quedarme así. Con tantas dudas en por and these are the 2019 LDM Independent Music nominees in the Latin category. Hi, I'm Charles Aloma, and I want to thank you for watching the LDM Network. For more information on this show or any other show, please go to www.ldmnetwork.net. Again, that's www.ldmnetwork.net. And now, let's get back to our show. Hello and welcome back. Again, uh, thank you. If you guys have been logged on, thank you for... Uh, my mic? Oh, okay. Sorry about that. I didn't want to cut these things. I turned it off instead of turning it back on. I know. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Hey, hey. But you guys are still logged on. Thank you for logging on. If you just logged on, you're watching the LDM show. Because uh, I know some people was like, wait a minute. Charles is not there. No, once a month. We have Kathy do her uh, fashion talk show, so a little segment there, and yeah. hey, we got to spread the love, you know what I'm saying? Right, and next month, I'll be talking about Bridal Fashion Week, because... Oh, uh, I'm, not, I'm not coming. Oh, no, I'm already married, so I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> 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 no, because once y'all start talking about bridals and stuff like that, and y'all single men are watching, y'all better uh, lead the room. <laughs> <laughs> you better run. Yeah, because that's when the wife's going to be starting to look. But uh, anyway... Uh, we posted up a question up on the, uh, I don't know the exact question, but it was uh, along these lines. How would you feel if someone gives your mate something personal as a gift? Or an expensive gift. Or an expensive gift, but it's still a personal gift, so how would you feel? Um, me, personally, it just really depends on what the gift is now. And, you know, I was in a situation before when I was younger, and um, I had given a gift to, like, a co-worker. Um, I had bought him, like, a cologne, and... Yeah, hey, colognes, I don't know. That's, that's, <laughs> cologne of balance. That's a, that's a, I don't know. I, I bought him a cologne, and his wife called the store and was like, she wanted to talk to me. And I'm like, why did she want to talk to me? What's going on? <laughs> what did I do? So she gets on the phone and she's like, oh, you like buying my husband colognes? Yeah. You like how he smell, huh? You want him to smell good for you? And I was like, what is she talking about? She's being crazy. She, that was cray-cray, that's why. I was like, listen, ma'am, all I did was buy him a gift. 
that it was his birthday. That's all it was. It was nothing, you know, personal. She's like, you know what? I'm coming over to the job right now. Oh, she, my oh, God. She came there, and she was yelling at me and all of this and that. And I came For around the cuddle? counter. Yeah. I came around the counter, and she was like, oh. Because at the time, I was eight months pregnant. <laughs> So. And the counter was like this tall, and I'm a little short person. <laughs> so she couldn't really tell, because all she saw was up here. And I wasn't, re I still really wasn't showing. Like, I didn't start showing, like, in my face and stuff like that right. until, like, my ninth month um, with my first child. And she was just like, oh. She was like, oh, my gosh. Uh, okay. And then she ran out of the store. And I was just like. That was weird, but... Uh, well, it'd, be, it'd be lucky that you didn't have a Craig Craig one, because she would have been like, oh, so that's why you brought him a cologne, because this is his? Is this his? Is that his baby? <laughs> is that his baby that you got up in there? No, ma'am. No, but cologne Stop. cologne is not too personal. Right. So she was just Craig Craig and maybe a little uh, jealous. Jealous. Well, you know, she's a little older. Like, they were a little older. Like, he was in, like, his 50s. Ah, yeah. So they I was probably just had like, marital problems anyway. Yeah. cologne... Cologne is a little personal, though, because right. especially if you give me a gift. That's, if you're working together. Well, no, if you give me a I gift mean, as a cologne, as a friend, I'm going to what are you trying to tell me? <laughs> Either I stink or you don't like the cologne I'll be wearing. One of the two you're trying to tell me, so I'll take it that way, but I won't take it as you're trying to, you know, right. say something. But personal things will be like, I don't know, dude, if any guy gave a, uh, another girl some lingerie. Yeah, I think that, that that's... You can't little, do that. That's a no-no. Or our yeah. girl get boxers. Or, well, like why are, you know, that. underwear, let's just say, because, mm -hmm. I don't know, there's certain things you can't not give a person. Right. Uh, can't give a, uh, tickets to a, a Broadway show or something. But here, here's two tickets, girl. What are you trying to tell me? You trying to say you want to go with me? Like, I know? think it just really depends on the person. Like, certain things like lingerie and underwear, that type of stuff, I do <laughs> agree that... Here for you and your husband. Right. No, but if you don't say here for you and your mate, right. then, then it's, then it's, an, it's, issue. it's I think an issue. it's just how it's delivered, not necessarily what it is, unless yeah. it's lingerie. Like, if you buy me lingerie, my husband is coming after you. Okay? I'm telling you. I, I just want to let you know that. So if it ain't happening, don't do it. You know, he might, he, might, he might ask you where you got it before he beats you down, but, mm -hmm. you know, at least he can get some information. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. Don't be stalking me, Victoria's Secret, either. Yeah, I, I don't know, but there, there's certain, like you said, it depends on, like, right. if, if I'm going to give you uh, tickets to a, a movie or something. Right. I'll be like, yeah, I thought this, you and your mate can go, to you know. To enjoy it, but together. And I say mate but... because I don't want to say husband or wife because then I get LGBT people, but I got, you know, all these people. Oh, speaking of that, did y'all yeah. know that Wife Swap is back in the first episode? Is a straight couple switching with a lesbian couple? Okay. First of all, <laughs> first of all, when I first heard about this show, someone said, oh, they got a show on TV called Wife um, Swap. I was like, they giving porno on TV, regular TV? Like, what the? My mind just went. Like, all the way to all the way. End. Yeah, it was just co completely because I'm like, Wife Swap. I was like. Skinamax. Yeah. I was like, what the hell? Are daytime? I'm like, we're changing. Um, but then when I watch one episode, I'm like, right. nah, this don't really happen when you're doing white swap. This is not what I thought it was. You know what I'm saying? Because I think you spend like two days there with the family. Yeah. And oh, it's like a week, no? It's something week? like that. Well, it's an hour. Because the show, the show, the show is an hour. An hour. <laughs> but I think it's like one or two days that they actually spend over there. And if you look at the previews at the new season that's coming up, Oh my gosh! So the couple swap, and they're doing like this fashion show, and the little boy is painted in glitter uh, nail polish, and the husband is just oh trying my to god, self composed. You can see it. Not, and I'm like, you just said oh. that today. I just went to uh, the Dollar General right next to our studio. Right. This little kid had long nails painted and everything. Mm -hmm. Um, and you can tell they were critic, but I'm like, how old is you're he? You're about like seven, eight years old, and you got these mm -hmm. nails. And then he was like, and he was talking to, uh, I don't, I, I, listen, I'm old school, a dyke, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what they call him now, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm not getting they all politically an, correct. an aggressive female, they call it an AG, which is... I call it a confused female. Fe um, female, a dyke, the one that, I don't call them lesbian. Listen, there ain't no stop, this is the LBM show. Um, 
lesbians that call phenomenal girls that like girls. You mean the lipstick lesbian? Right, right. See, see now they changing the words to lipstick lesbian. I'm from the '80s. It was lesbians or butch. That's that's how you knew the difference. (laughs) But anyway. No, 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 no. I'm old school and it's going to stay like that. Ain't no lipstick lesbian. Ain't no uh, Converse lesbians. I don't know what else you want to call them. You said Converse lesbians. Oh, my God. Um, boots, you know, the the Converse boots, oh, the working boots. But There are different stages. Yeah, but anyway, she, he, don't be mad at me, guys. Yeah, I, I, listen, I'm, I'm, you know I do all the LGBT shows and everything, and I, and I tell them the same thing, and they all laugh, so... Um, if you're not really in that community, you get a pass cause you yeah, know. because I hang out with them anyway, yeah. but, but I tell them the same thing. Listen, I'm old school. So, and they already know that, that right. I, I call them, but is it because she is one of them that the little kid was like, like taking that vibe? Like he's not really probably, uh, gay or anything. He just right. wanted to wear it. He wanted to do it because she was just like, Hey, you want to do this? We're going to put this and we're going to put makeup on your yeah, face and all of this and that. And but that's a, that's a good question now that I said the nails. Yeah. One of the other answers, uh, the other thing that we had, what do you do with your mate to bring him his phenomenon side? That was the other um, comment, the other post we had. What, like, what games or what you do to make your, um, that makes your husband phenomenon side come out? I don't do that at all. You don't, you don't do nothing that makes him do a phenomenon thing? No. Nothing. Not at all. At all? Not at all. <laughs> You don't watch a cheese no, movie? No, you know what's you know so nothing? crazy? I'm like the weirdest girl in the world. Um, <laughs> I barely watch cheesy movies myself. So right. every so often I'll watch a cheesy movie. Like, uh, what was it? Crazy Rich Asians. Oh, and okay. he'll watch it with me. It's not a cheesy movie. Stop it. Crazy Rich Asians is a drama. Uh, I mean, it's a drama. It's a chick no flick. one hears you in the background anyway. How many times it's, I keep telling you? It's a chick flick. <laughs> For the record, it is a chick flick. Yeah, it's a drama. Uh, but, it's a drama. Um, Every so often, my husband will watch it with me, um, but I don't. I don't really. I'm not really like that. Like I like being grilled. See, but he's my watching the thing, drama with you, right? But I wouldn't pull him into certain things, like. Well, no, me, it's me, too much. I've seen the Notebook about twice. I've never seen And my it. friend Eric, the never Eric the it. model who was here the, yeah. uh, the la- a couple of months ago, he loves the Notebook, and me, I'm just not. I never watched it. I'll don't kill me. Though. <laughs> the, the notebook I watched was the ones I buy in the dollar stores. That's right. about the only notebook. But what I, what I, I guess my phantom side would come out is letting her give me a manicure or, or thing. That that that's the only phantom side that I no, think. No, I would I wouldn't do that. Like I. Mm-mm. Oh yeah, she made a fa- she did a face mask on me one time. I was like, get this off. I was I was thinking people were watching me but through the really, windows. It, honestly, <laughs> it is really good for your skin, especially because you're on TV. It's yeah, really good. Yeah, yeah. It out your pores. You do it at least once. But a still, week. that's that's you know, a little uh, phenomenon for me. I don't I know. know. But like me personally, I would never force my husband to do that. He does that if he decides to do it. Like there are, uh, you know, what company does it the manly way? Uh, Bevel. They have like a face cream mask that yeah. that uh, men could use so he does that wait, wait, wait. so a, often a, a face mask is a face mask it's no <laughs> it's no way you could unless you're gonna put the face mask like, yeah 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 what up? Hey, 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 hey. take no, a beer no, take no. a beer you know it's a, it's a cream it's a cream it's not really necessarily <laughs> oh. a, a mask oh okay so. okay because i'm like face mask is a face mask you're still gonna look phenomenal with the little things in your eye <laughs> No, no, no. They call it a face mask because you have to keep it on your face for a little while. Yeah. But no, I, I don't understand all those little fruits and stuff on your eyes. And it's uh, to reduce the puffiness and um, the go to sleep. Back. That's all you need to do. <laughs> go to sleep. Put a tape on that thing like that. <laughs> but there's a lot of animal stuff. Um, people commented uh, and said manicure was like one of the top ones right like, they, um, like i tried to give my husband a pedicure before and he got so upset because like yeah his, his feet is really bad <laughs> <laughs> so i tried to i didn't say it time, i didn't say but, it um <laughs> he doesn't like it so uh, i tried at least once but um now if like he's gonna get like a pedicure done he'll right. just go to like the salon and he'll sneak and go and just not involve me i guess mm. but um yeah i don't really really force him force him to do anything feminine like but, i'll, I'll yeah, do it i can't, I can't really say like things uh playing around in the streets like you know jerking around and hugging each other that little phenomenon there's no way you're gonna look manly going <laughs> 
<laughs> with your girlfriend. No. No. It's okay. Not so, yeah. um, there's certain things that you do that brings out the venom side, but mm -hmm. a lot of guys don't want to admit it. You know? Right. So. Well, I, I mean, I personally, I feel if there's a balance and you're comfortable with doing it, then okay. But if you're forcing your mate to bring out their feminine side, I think mm -hmm. that is where some of the issues come about. Because if you're pushing that person to consistently do something, something. that they don't want to do, it's just going to be awkward. But I don't know. The little things like that, bringing your feminine side out in a... In a couple situation, I think it's pretty cool. Okay. Some of them do it in the beginning, and then when they when they already like three to four years in, they like you're gonna it. cut your nails, girl. You go do it yourself. I'm I'm going. I'm watching. You can't see I'm watching the game, like you know. Right. <laughs> but there is certain things that. Thank God my husband doesn't watch sports. Nah, I don't. I, the only thing <laughs> I, I play was uh, Madden, and I used to play every single day, and I, don't, I haven't played it for months now. But uh, how much time we got left? It shows it on there, on the top. It'll show how many minutes uh, on the other one. So we got a new engineer, which is what I show her, show her all the stuff. One minute. Oh, wow. I figured we had a couple. Uh, 59 40. Woof. Okay, so. We've been talking that much? Yeah, we, we, we just been <laughs> yapping up a storm. Like the whole 20 minutes just went like that. I know. But anyway, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Kathy, check her out. Uh, she has the fashion stuff on there. She has the you know, coupon stuff that you can learn from. Right. So. You know, keep oh, it. And check out, you know, some of the family dollar stores in New York City are closing down. Oh, so yeah. Now right, is the time that. to go and get all the clearance stuff. There's 110 stores closing down in family New York. Family dollar? Family dollar. Oh, because I know, I know Payless Shoes is sh shutting down. Payless Shoes is um should be already 30, closed by 30. now. No, they're still some They're open. still open? Yeah, 30 well, to 50% off. There's, there's clearances going on everywhere. Now is the time. Charlotte Ruse. Um, oh, wow. Yes, there's so many uh, companies out there right now just for the spring. It's time to rack up, get those savings on. Get those savings on, on man. You know, check out my mm. videos if you have a chance at Coupon Cart Club uh, on YouTube. I just explain mm. all the great stuff that you can do and all the ways that you can save money and even get stuff for free. Oh, wow. But we're going we're gonna to one day talk about all that again. <laughs> but uh, but if you did miss any past um the episodes with Kathy here, go to the uh, LDM Network um, YouTube page. There's a playlist there, and you're going to see Fashion Chat by Kat, and her videos are going to be there. She's been here um, doing. But uh, next week, we're going to have a couple more uh, conversations and maybe a uh, guest or two. No, a guest. Because, um, and then also check out my new podcast, Speak Out, where mm, I'm not real nice on there. Oh, no. <laughs> I'll tell the truth. People don't like to hear the truth. Don't listen to the speak out. But uh, anyway, we'll see you next week. Be safe and enjoy the uh, the good weather that's going to start coming out. So. I know the spring is here. Yes, yes. <laughs> we'll see you next week. All right. He's guilty of loving me in the first degree. I want to give him all I've got. Hi, I'm Charles Aloma, and I want to thank you for watching the LDM Network. For more information on this show or any other show, please go to www.ldmnetwork.net. Again, that's www.